Stephen Fennick from Tech Guide with you, and today we're talking about the Samsung Freestyle. Now, this is a projector. It might not look like a projector. I, when I first saw it, I thought it was like a lamp, a spotlight or something, but it's actually a projector, the Freestyle. And this is designed to be a go-anywhere projector, can, can beam up to a 100 image uh, in full high definition. So Samsung have put all of the smarts, their uh, operating system into this little unit that is really easy to set up and really easy to adjust. It actually does it all automatically. So this is meant to be used in your home, on the move, wherever you want. The idea behind this is being able to easily beam your content wherever you go, whether you uh, want to, uh, if we, this has got Wi-Fi connected, so if you connect to your local Wi-Fi and then you can stream your content from, from the freestyle, or you can mirror your phone, do that as well. So whatever you have on your device, you can mirror to the freestyle. But let's go through it. Now, this is a full HD projector and it has this 180 degree stand, which makes it really easy to position. So whether you wanna aim it this way, whether you wanna turn it to around this way, you wanna aim it straight to the ceiling, that's an option as well. So you can be laying in bed and have this beaming up an image for you to enjoy. Now, there is already a speaker in, in there as well. I'll talk a little bit later about Bluetoothing uh, another better speaker, but there is already, everything you need is already here. So you just need to connect it to Wi-Fi and connect then to your streaming content through here as well. Or you can, of course, use your, your device, your mobile device to mirror your screen. You can use, if you've got an iPhone, it's got actually AirPlay. So you can AirPlay to this device as well. So the idea is to take it with you anywhere. I first saw this in Las Vegas in, uh, at the Consumer Electronics Show, and they had, they had the display set up showing it being used inside, outside, uh, in, in, a, in a tent on a camping trip. So it's designed to have that kind of flexibility. Now, this isn't the first portable projector. There's been many others. And the difference between this, though, and those other smaller projectors is the quality that they other smaller projectors do offer HD but what they what they also have is really finicky little controls to get your image looking looking okay the one excellent feature about the freestyle is that all you need to do is to turn it on aim it at a wall or a ceiling and the image will automatically adjust itself. So sometimes you have you you see the uh, the, the image is, is kind of crooked on both sides if it's not exactly level and, and, and facing the wall correctly. What what the freestyle does it does auto keystoning. So that that's the taking the sloping edges and making them straight. Also with auto is focus. Uh, I've, I've got a lot of experience with projectors, but projectors are the sort of product that you set up once and you can enjoy them. Like I, I've got a dedicated home theater. My, my projector is up on the ceiling. Uh, so it needed to be mounted. It needed to be positioned. It needed to be focused. So all of those features uh, are all done automatically when it comes to the freestyle. So again, appealing to those customers who don't want to stuff around with the controls, they just want to get on with it. They want to be able to enjoy their content. The other thing of note too is the fact that it can work with power. So it does come with a USB-C cable and a power adapter. So you plug it into the wall. So it works like that. Or if you want to take it with you anywhere, it will, it will work with a battery. But you have to have a high output battery to, for it to work. So you'll need a battery that can power, say, a laptop that has enough output to give you power for your computer. This will work 
with the freestyle. So if you happen to have a battery or you might need to buy one, and if you want to be using this, say, on a camping trip, there's not many power points you'll find on a camping trip unless you bring your own power. But it, it, even if you want to, say, watch this in the backyard, you might want to have a little movie party in the backyard. You might be able to put up a like a sheet on the clothesline or aim it up against a wall. You can power it using just the battery. So that's, an, that's another option as well. Now, I did... I did mention Bluetooth, and what you can do is there is a speaker already on board, okay? So speakers right here. The speaker, you can link a Bluetooth speaker to the Freestyle Projector. So you go into the settings, into the sound settings, and if you activate Bluetooth and pair, hit the pairing function on your speaker, in my case, I use the JBL Charge 5, but any Bluetooth speaker will work. I was able to then, it, it appeared on the screen, I was able to pair the speaker and I was able to enjoy much better audio. The, the speaker actually in the, in the projector itself isn't too bad, but I found that having a Bluetooth speaker, a quality Bluetooth speaker, really did improve the experience for me as well. Uh, I mentioned too that there is Wi-Fi built in, so the setup of the Freestyle is very similar to setting up a Samsung TV. So you turn it on, up on the wherever you're aiming, the projector will be appear all the settings. You have to adjust you know, where you live, your state, uh, and then you can set up uh, the all your streaming services. So it's the same operating system that you'll find on a Samsung television. And that includes uh, the Samsung TV channels too. You know, there's the streaming streaming channels. There's like hundreds of channels you can enjoy. But then, of course, you've got your Netflix and Stan and Disney Plus, Apple TV. All of the regular streaming services are all built in because this has the same operating system as your Samsung TV. So they've shrunk all of that into this device. So connect it to your Wi-Fi network and link up to your streaming services and Bob's your uncle. But you can also, as I mentioned, mirror your phone. And we did that with our iPhone. So uh, we were able to, it, we, we, once we hit the mirror functionality on the phone, the projector appeared in our list of devices. We clicked on that and then a second or two later, we were seeing exactly what was on our phone now beamed onto the wall with the Samsung Freestyle. So we were able to watch YouTube videos. If, if you wanna watch Netflix that way, you could do that as as well uh, any of your own content your photos your videos whatever you want to share that works with that as well so that is the freestyle now one thing of course is the quality is not 4k it's only full high definition but I think if look unless you watch it even at a hundred inches the quality is still there uh, and I like the fact too that even if you're not in a completely dark room, like I was watching it during the day, uh, lights on in the room, and I could still see the image very, very clearly. Now, even at 100 inches, the full high definition resolution is actually not too bad. It is, it is actually pretty good. Uh, so, and, and when the lights are off, went with it in total darkness, you, you see that that quality even more. It, it has got solid brightness for you to uh, enjoy your content that way as well. But the fact that it's not 4K, I don't think that's a deal breaker. Now, if this was 4K, I think it might be a bit bigger and it'll be a lot more expensive as well. Speaking of price, it's priced at 1,499 Australian dollars. It's available from Feb 7, so from now, you can, uh, it has been on pre-order for a while, but they are available to purchase. The other thing I like about this too is that it comes with a, like a portable little case. So if you do want to take it away with you, there's also a lid for the lens. So you pack that away as well. And then you can seal it up and away you go. The Samsung Freestyle Projector, it's available now for 1,499 Australian dollars. If you want to read our complete review, head over to techguide.com.au. Thanks for watching.